Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product uh, You can see this is King Kony G1 4G controller uh, This is King Kony first uh, 4G controller And it's also made by ESP32S3 large memory And you can see this have some buttons, the keyboard and the LCD screen and the Ethernet and IS485 and uh, this module also support by Home Assistant you can use the ESP Home to send the uh, AT command to 4G module so that you can make some notification by SMS or voice call you can add this G1 controller to your PLC system or your smart home controller system so that you can let your system have the 4G functions so in this video, I will show you the hardware details and how it works with the Kinkoni Smart Controller because uh, maybe you will see we have designed many new controllers without 4G functions so we just let these two paths uh, in two different places so you can see uh, this is our Kinkoni F24 new Smart Controller and also you can see this is our Kinkoni F16 new controller and also have the B16M new controller so oh you can add this G1 module so that will be using uh, SMS and voice call and in this video I will show you how to use it it's also very easy and it support the uh, connect with the KCS firmware uh, with the Lulu controller okay let's look at the hardware design details firstly okay let's look at this G1 4G controller and this is the back the G1 also support install on the ding wheel. Uh, you can see this is the EU standard size. So that will be easy to install your power distribution box. And let's look at the interface. You can see the power voltage is from 12 or 24 volt. And this is a free GPU. Uh, that can use this one, connect with the sensor or connect with your smart Lulu controller. Uh, to by free GPU for extended 4G functions later I will show you how it works and this IS485 you can connect with your sensor and this one you can see there are some different GPIO the free GPIO also can use and this is the key you can see uh, the keypad and also I can see this is a mobile phone so you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, zero and uh, these two different buttons so you can define with your functions and this is LCD screen and uh, uh, you can see the, the antenna and this is antenna SME extended antenna for GSM 4G module and for ESP32 S3 and for GPS antenna so this have three extended antenna uh, ESP32 the 4G module and the GSM GPS uh, antenna and this also support the Ethernet and these two have two buttons the two buttons is for download and reset for ESP32 and this one is free GPU uh, all this is free GPU and this is i square c extend and 3 volt and you will see uh, this in front of this board and this is the back and you can see this SIM card uh, you can remove this socket and all this green socket is removable and you can insert your SIM card at here actually you will use this one and use this one uh, just put at your SIM card at here and insert to at here and then you can re-plug in your terminal and you will see the SIM card inside of that in, inside of this way okay uh, this is the G1 and let's look at the PCB inside and you can see this is the G1 button PCB and this is W5500 Ethernet chip and uh, that will be more stable and this is the, the button and this one you can see that is the keypad and uh, just you can see uh, this will plug in at here and uh, just plug in at here you can see I uh, just plug in here and in this board uh, we will install this SSD 
1306 uh, display, uh, ice currency display. So that will be installed at here. You can see installed at here. So this here, three bar. And the last one, you can see uh, this is forge module, SIM 7600, uh, back and in front. So that will be installed at here. And you can see, just installed at, at this one. So the G1 is consist with these three parts. Uh, one, two, three. So that uh, will consist with the G1. Okay. Now let's look at how it works with the Kinkoni controller and let the controller have the full G module function. Okay, let's look at how it works with B60M smart controller. Okay, let's look at this B60M have installed on the power distribution box and I have connected this Ethernet cable. It, it, it will work, work well. And now you can see this is G1 module and I have connected this three lines have connected with this three lines. Because you can see uh, that is, I have connected the free GPIO uh, for this module because the uh, for module have txt and ixt pins so i have choose this 13 and 14 and connect with this uh, b16m so this is ground the ground have connect with the ground but because i have used another power supply uh, this is two different power supply so i need to let this black ground connect together if you only use this uh, from this one power supply and for this g1 and you don't need to add this cable. Only TXT and XT cable is okay. And you can see uh, 13 and 14. And also you can see it here. You can see also is 14 and uh, 13. So this I have def defined in our KCS firmware. And also if you have used other controllers, For example, you can see uh, this is F24 controller also have this free GPL, uh, the 14 and the uh, 13. Uh, you can also define uh, for 15 and 21, no problem, just according to your firmware software. And this is F24. And if you have the F16, you can see the FT, F16 controller, you want to add the 4G functions, you can also connect with this 13 and 14 pins or other pins just defined by yourself. Okay, uh, and other controllers all use this same way. Okay, let's back to my computer and we can see how to set in KCS firmware. It's also very easy. And this is G1. You can see the web page have showed all details and the sound. Uh, documents and the links at here. You can check at here the ESP32 G1 Arduino source code and uh, GPIO define. And also you can see the AT command uh, transmit by ESP32 and uh, the uh, uh, SIM7600 module. So I have downloaded this firmware to G1 so that you can control and send a command by G1 directly, by AT command. So you can see, uh, this is just three cables or two cables. Okay, no problem. And then you can see in our KCS firmware, uh, this firmware is B16M, and maybe you will use this F16 or F24 controller, all used by the same way. And you can see it here, the network and the 4G. You can see uh, this KCS V3 version will have these two options to define the TX pin and the IX pin. That is 4G modules uh, send and receive pins. So you can define because I have connected with the 13 so, and the 14. So you can see I choose the 13 and 14. If you connect with other GPIO, you can choose other GPIO uh, because this uh, B16M have three free GPL, so you can choose at here. And you have different control module, maybe you have different uh, GPL you can select. Okay, after you select, you can see uh, this 4G module, and this is a um, administry a number, mobile phone number, and you can press this save. And after reboot, you can see I can have a test. Click at here, you can see send a short message, we will test. 
and we, I put my mobile phone at here, just at here, and I click send a message. And you can see successfully. And you can see in my mobile phone that will shoot. Uh, this is a test message from King Kony B16M. So this short message is work. It's very easy. And let's look at a make a coin. You can see I can click make a coin successfully. Okay, you can see my mobile phone uh, that is make receive a coin. So in this way, so in this way, uh, you can use the short message or voice call in FTDT. So you can create the sensor or create some different actions, the triangle actions, uh, send the SMS or make a voice call for notification will be let your system become uh, smart. And sometimes the mobile phone application notification will have delay time, but the 4G module and the short message and the voice call will send the notification immediately. So that will be more stable. Okay, this is the G1 module. Thanks for watching.